Good evening. Welcome back, if you were with us earlier. Um, we now have a um, hearing on school choice. Um, so let me start with the uh, pandemic um, language. Uh, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency on March 12, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law GL chapter, 30A, G, GL chapter 30A, section 20. Pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting laws requirements that meetings be held in public places open and physically accessible to the public so long as measures are taken to ensure pu the public access to the body's deliberations through adequate alternative means. This meeting will be held and will be accessible to the public via Brockton Community Access, Brockton Public Schools website, www.bpsma.org, YouTube and Comcast Channel 98, as well as the HD version on 1071. The public can access this meeting via the following link, www.youtube.com forward slash the Brockton channels. The public can join this meeting for comment by accessing the link provided on the posted agenda, which can be found on the City of Brockton website and the Brockton Public Schools website, www.bpsma.org. Okay. Now, in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 76, Section 12B of the Mass General Law, is as amended by the Education Reform Act of 1993 and subsequent legislation, it provides for statewide school choice program. The law requires school, each school committee in the state to admit students from other districts under the school choice program unless there is a vote to withdraw from the program by June 1st of each year. Prior to such a vote, there must be a public hearing on the issue of whether or not to participate in school choice. And again, there's no voting in a public hearing, but for belts and suspenders, I'm just gonna call the roll. Um, Mayor Sullivan, D'Agostino here. Ms. Asaf. Mrs. Mendez. Here. Mr. Minicello. Here. Mr. Rodriguez. Here. Mrs. Sullivan. Here. Mr. Sullivan. Here. Okay, we do have a quorum. Um, <clears throat> okay. I call this meeting, this public hearing to order. Um, first item um, is the hearing of visitors. Do we have any visitors that wish to be heard? Okay, so we may have a, a member of the public that wants to be heard, so we'll hold the hearing open and, and just wait a few minutes till we can confirm. Until the, the next one. Okay, all right, great. So there is no member of the public that wishes to be heard on the item of school choice. So we will move on to the next item, um, which is discussion or comment. Uh, is there any member of the school committee who would like to make a comment on this matter? Uh, oh, right. I defer to Ms. Sullivan. Mrs. Sullivan. I just, I just wanted to um, say last year we accepted 50 from Brockton High, for Brockton High, 10 for Edison Academy, and six for the eighth grade students, just so everybody knows what we did last year. Um, Mr. Minicello. Yes, um, this committee, uh, since I've been on it, and, and I believe for many years prior to that, has always participated in this program. We've always viewed it as a um, positive for the city of Brockton because it basically invites people from outside of our community to participate uh, in, in what we know as a great school system. Um, so I would recommend that we, um, not that we're taking a vote, but my feelings are um, just out loud uh, is that we continue to participate in the program. We always do have a built-in safety valve. If there is ever an issue with spacing that um, we retain, I believe, the ability to adjust based on that um, um, particular set of circumstances. Uh, I always, I'm always uh, happy to hear someone from a different community coming in and to, to one of our programs and um, 
and the reason why they come in is because it's, it, it's so good. And then naturally they go back to their own community and people will say, oh, where do you go to school? And, and you know, a person from outside the community says, oh, I go to Brockton High or I go to East Middle School, West Middle School or what have you, or the Plouffe, uh, Plouffe. And they basically highlight why they're there, talk about the good things about Brockton. So I, I always see this as a huge positive. Um, so if, uh, you know, if things... Um, progress the way they normally do. We sure really shouldn't have any issues. Um, hopefully, in September, we're going to be by this, um, you know, this built-in craziness with, with uh, you know, the pandemic. Um, from what I hear, we're having good reports with regard to our schools, and you know, no, no major uh, major hiccups or issues. So, um, I, I would later on vote uh, like I have throughout my. Uh, for almost 14 year career on the school committee to continue with this um, program. Um, that's my two cents worth. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Any other member of the committee want to comment on school choice? Okay. And again, still no members of the public that have tuned in for that purpose? Okay. All right. Um, well, uh, again, um, wrapping up the comments uh, myself. Um, you know, again, I've supported this in the uh, now six years that I've been on the on the committee. Um, you know, I think it's we, we offer a lot of wonderful opportunities that maybe some of the smaller districts around us aren't able to offer. Uh, not a knock at them, but when you have the numbers of students that we have, sometimes that alone provides the opportunity to put a lot of different programs together. Um, you know, that you may not have the ability to do in other places. So. Um, you know, I think it's a, 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 as Mr. Minicello said, it's a great opportunity and, and you get, you know, kids that come in from other towns that then go out and talk about the great things and the great experiences they're having here in Brockton. Um, so uh, again, you know, I think, uh, you know, uh, it's a great program. So, okay. Um, with that, we have no um, members of the public that wish to comment. Um, we've gone through the discussion. Um, so I will adjourn uh, the public hearing on school choice.